Hey, this is Steve Blanco here with Zachary Ezra from Imperial Triumphant, and this is our crazy tour story that Zach's going to tell you about. It starts in uh, June of our last Balkans tour. We had just wrapped uh, playing in Serbia, in Belgrade, and we had a day off, and we went out, had a great night. It ends about, I go back to my hotel room. In Serbia, basically, if you show up with like $3,000, you're their new king, so basically, for fifty dollars, we were all staying in our own super luxury five-star hotel rooms, and so I have my own hotel room. I'm chilling by myself. I have pizza. I've got Bad Boys Two playing. That's how I'm like ending my night. So it's a pretty good night. Um, the rest of the night, I text my tour manager, "Yo, I'll see you tomorrow morning. We'll get coffee. Good night." You know, that's the last text I sent. Then I sort of like. The next 20 minutes is blurry, and I wake up covered in blood. There is, and I don't really know what's going on. There's blood all over the hotel room, on the floor, in my bed. It's gushing out of my head. And I look in the mirror, it's all over my face, because you know, if you get a small little cut in your head, you bleed like a stuffed pig. So, I am don't have a small cut. I have like maybe three, two, three inch cut. So I'm gushing blood. I'm, a little freaked out, you know, I jump in the shower, wash off, get back in the bed, I, call, I FaceTime my best friend Bill Stebbins, Dr. Bill Stebbins from Nashville. He's still awake, obviously, because it's America. I'm like, I show it in my fucking head. Uh, At this point, keep in mind, I'm in a completely different hotel. <laughs> somewhere else. Uh, not that far, but not that close either. And I noticed, and it's about, it's, it's like four o'clock in the morning, and I noticed a couple phone calls that I missed from him. And I'm like, what the hell is going on here? But I was already a few hours later that I noticed that. Yeah, so anyway, Dr. Bill Stebbins says, look, does it feel like gelatin? He goes, I, he goes, I go, yeah, and he goes, you should probably go to the hospital. You're probably gonna be fine, but go to the hospital, get stitches. So that's what becomes the new schlep, right? 3 a.m., I jump in a cab, I say, hospital, please. He takes me to the hospital, Serbian hospital on a Monday, weirdly busy. When did you call me, though? I, I called saw... you from the hospital. Oh, you were at the hospital? I was already at the already, hospital. Right? I was already super chill hospital, by the way. Like, no paperwork, just show up my passport, and I'm already in line. The doctor is sewing me up. He goes, he goes, you have wound. I go, I know, is it a big one? He goes, not really. I, go, I said, thank God. He goes, oh, you believe in God? And I said, uh, I believe in you. <laughs> it's a little scary when the doctor asks you if you believe in God. Um, got a free CT scan, which in America would take hours. This was like 40 minutes. In. By 5 a.m., I hop on a bus and I'm back in my hotel room for a little bit of spotchka. Basically, well, let me just say one sure thing. thing. CT scan can get done quickly in the USA. It's just gonna cost you $2,000. Oh yeah, I should mention that the entire visit was free. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the next day I was in Zagreb playing. I had my head wrapped, I looked like Rafael Nadal, but yeah. still finished the tour strong. Theory is basically, I think I blacked out from some, I don't know why, like just maybe stood up too quickly or something, in the bathroom, fell back, smashed my head, because there was a huge puddle of blood on the floor which I like just didn't even think twice about. I was like, oh, it's the blood, I'll just mop it up. But uh, yeah, super gnarly and... Uh... Oh yeah, and you know, <laughs> another thing is that night, we were out separately, because I was out with Josh from Cattle Decap. Yeah, Cattle Decapitation Right, rules. I was out with him and his wife. And, and like... Uh... So, so yeah, so there was like a total separation that evening. This is what happens. Yeah, exactly. But if we uh... separate. <laughs> it was a good night. Anyway, and uh, a fun little memory. I still have the CT scan. I'm going to frame it. It's always good to get a CT scan. Anyway, yeah. Peace of mind. Yeah. yeah. They looked at my CT scan. They said, oh, there's zero brain activity. Yeah, because sometimes you walk around, you're, you're like, completely fried. Yeah, sometimes you walk around, like, maybe I have a brain tumor. <laughs> you get a CT scan. You're like, okay, cool. I don't. All right, great.